Hi guys and welcome to Raspberry Pi Tutorials. It's just going to be a really quick tutorial today because um, I've had coursework deadlines and I've actually have to, had to already do two video tutorials today for that. Um, so, all I've done really is took the Hello World program that we already had, um, copied it into a new folder and also grabbed the pi.png image from um, Pi Shooter or any of the other games that we've done and basically as you can see here everything's equally spaced out so you need to use grids and um, and tables and stuff like that to lie to lie your controls out and organize them um, and I think it's a good thing it's quite complicated to get used to especially if you've been a Windows developer in the past or something like that um, and I know the menu bar looks a bit messy but but um, anyway and there is actually a, a like designer, like a visual designer you can use where you drag on the controls, um, and I'll probably show that next week or, or at some point anyway. So um, I'll show you what I've changed, um, and the it's not much code. It, the, just the idea is that you need, you should be able to see and need to understand. So basically, um, it's the same until here, and now. The the actual window, which is like the the frame and the and the like grey panel at the back before you add any buttons or anything, can only can only have one widget, and so what you need to do is you need to add a container, um, a vertical container which is VBox, and what VBox does is it splits vertically, um, and you could or you could have a HBox or you could have a VBox and then put a HBox inside that. And that's the idea, you put controls inside controls um, to lay it out. So you add the container to the window and then show the vertical container on the window. And then the next thing to do is create a menu bar. Now all that that menu bar creates is, is just a bar at the top where menu items can go. So it's just this bar here, no, f no file or anything like that, it's just a bar. And then we need to create a menu item to go on it. So we've got file, um, and all that creates is the is the blue file bit at the top. So actually, it'll be easier to keep the program open. So um, so that what's that? What that creates is once this is finished, once what that creates is this file thing here, um, and you can click on it but it just goes blue. Uh, this menu doesn't show. Okay. So next what we need to add is a menu. And all that menu adds is um, a, like somewhere that you can put menu items. So basically, we've got a menu bar and then a menu item, which is file. Then we've got a menu, which is a container for another menu item, which is the exit. So... So we make a menu, and then um, we need to make an, an another menu item for the exit button. And then what we need to do is we need to connect that uh, menu item's activate event to um, to a function that I've made down there. And then we add the exit menu item to the file menu and show it. And then that file menu is used as the submenu for the file menu item. And then you show the file menu, and then finally, the file menu item gets added to the menu bar, which is which is this. So the file menu item is is the file bit, and then the menu is the container, and then you've got an exit button, which is another menu item. Um, and then you need to show everything basically, and then you're gonna add the menu bar to the vertical container, and then show that. And then we've got our button, um, which is the same as last time, but instead you add it to the vertical container rather than adding it to the window. And then that gets shown. And then the only other thing we do is we create an image box, um, which is gtk.image. Um, and you can set from file. So that's the easiest way, you just call it pi.png. And then you just add that image to that should be con vertical container 
Um, but yeah, but you get the idea. So you add that to the container, and then you do self.imageBox.show, and then finally you show the window, and then uh, we've got click on that, and you get hello world like last time, and then all that the file exit event does is quits. So um, let me find that. Yeah, exit menu item clicked. That just simply calls the GTK main quit like like this function does. And that's all I've got today, guys. I'm sorry it's been short. Um, I'm still waiting for a Raspberry Pi. So hopefully that's going to be here pretty soon. I should have one, um, hopefully, over Easter. Um, I've got one week of college left and then until Easter, and then I've got two weeks off. So hopefully I'll get one over Easter at some point. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I found it interesting and useful. Uh, and I'll see you next week. Cheers.